The next thing we're going to talk about and show is our approach ramps. The first thing you notice is that they're aluminum. Aluminum makes them light. But also you notice how strong they are and reinforced, which makes them as strong, if not stronger, than any steel ramp at a fraction of the weight. Now, to put our ramps in our advantage with the new flip-up plate, we push the plate down and put our ramp in place. Now, another thing we gain is where they used to hook in here, this ramp would go in four inches longer or four inches further towards the ramp. Now we gain four inches of approach ramp, which for lower cars with uh, low chins, it gives better clearance. On the old setup, when they hooked in, our ramp was is 36 inches long, but now that we don't hook in, we gain four inches of length, which now our ramp is equivalent to a 40 inch long ramp, which helps you to get on the lift with lower, lower cars. <laughs> Okay, now, at this point, you drive up onto the lift, you get out, and Tony's going to raise the lift. You'll see how our auto wheel stops automatically engage at a very low height. The, the lift isn't a foot off the ground, and your wheel stops are fully engaged. Now that we've gone over how the flapper plates and the approach ramps work together, the next beauty of our ramps is for storage. Instead of having them leaning up against your wall or in your way under your workbench, they easily store between the two runways when the runway is set at the 75 inch on the outside dimension. Because they're the same length as your drip trays. So now you have your car stored, your ramp stored, everything's nice and compact, there's no headbangers, and it's a nice clean clean look.